Hey sweet friends, welcome back here to the Walterman Homestead. I'm Megan and today is Saturday, which for our family means that it is Shabbat. It is the Sabbath day, the day of rest. And so I wanna start doing videos, sharing with you guys scripture for each week. So my goal is to put up a video every Saturday. So today is the day, first day of doing this. Um, but each week there are portions of scripture that are read and I will put these portions up here. I am only going to read a little bit of the portions because I want you to study them. I want you to take the little mustard seed, mustard seed and go and seek and find on your own. So the first is Deuteronomy 7. So I am reading two out of the complete Jewish Bible for Christians and Jews. I love this Bible and Dylan actually got this for me last year for my birthday and it is just beautiful and it just has so much insight and so much traditions explained, um, things explained in scripture because the Bible was written by Jewish people and so it just explains it a lot um, and it replaces Jewish names as well. So as I'm reading it might sound different than your typical Bible that you know we grew up with. So Adonai your God is going to bring you into the land you will enter in order to take possession of it and he will expel many nations of, of you ahead of you, the Hittite, the Gershishite, the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Puriz Purizite, the Hivi, and the Ushite, seven nations bigger and stronger than you. When he does this, then Adonai, your God, hands them over ahead of you, and you defeat them. You are to destroy them completely. Do not make any covenant with them show them no mercy don't intermarry with them don't give your daughter to his sons and don't take his daughters for your son for he will turn your children away from following me in order to serve other gods if this happens the anger of adonai <clears throat> will flare up against you and he will quickly destroy you no treat them this way break down their altars, smash their standing stones to pieces, cut down their sacred poles, and burn up their carved images completely. For you are a people set apart as holy. For Adonai your God, Adonai your God has chosen you out of all of the nations of the earth to be his own unique treasure. Adonai didn't set his heart on you or choose you because you are numbered more than any people. But on the contrary, you were the fewest of all people. Rather, it was because Adonai loves you. Because he wanted to keep the oath which he had sworn to your ancestors and that Adonai brought you out of the strong hand and redeemed you from the life of slavery under the hand of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. From this, you can know that Adonai, your God, is indeed God. That faithful, the faithful God who keeps his covenant and extends grace to those who love him and observe his mitzvot, which is laws to thousands of generations, but he repays those who hate him, their face and destroys them. He will not be slow to deal with someone who hates him. He will repay him to his face. Therefore, you are to keep the mitzvot, laws and rulings, which I am giving you today and obey them because you are listening to these rules, keeping and obeying them. Adonai, your God, will keep with you the covenant and mercy that he swore to your ancestors. He will love you and bless you and increase your numbers. He will also bless the fruit of your body and the fruit of the ground, your grain, your wine, your olive oil, the young of your cattle and sheep. In the land he swore to your ancestors that he would give you. You will be blessed more than all other people. 
there will not be a sterile male or female among you, and that, that, and the same with your livestock. Adonai will remove all illness from you. He will not afflict you with any of the Egypt's dreadful diseases, which you have known. Instead, he will lay them on those who hate you. You are to devour all the people that Adonai your God hands over to you. Show them no pity and do not serve their gods because they will become a trap for you. If you think to yourselves, these nations outnumber us, how can we dispose of them? Nevertheless, you are not to be afraid of them. You are to remember well that what Adonai, your God, did to Pharaoh and all of Egypt. The great ordeals which you saw yourself and the signs and wonders, the strong hand, that outstretched arm by which Adonai, your God, brought you out. Adonai will, will do the same to all the people whom you are afraid. Moreover, Adonai, your God, will send the hornet among them until, they, until all those who are left and those who hide themselves perish ahead of you. You are not to be frightened of them, because Adonai, your God, is there with you, a God great and fearsome. Adonai, your God, will expel those nations ahead of you, little by little. You can't put an end to them all at once, or the wild animals will become too numerous for you. Nevertheless, Adonai your God will give them over to you, sending one disaster after another until they have been destroyed. He will hand their kings over to you, and he will wipe their name from under heaven. None of them will be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. You are to burn up completely the carved statues of their gods. Don't be greedy over the silver and the gold on them. Do not take them with you, or you will be trapped by them. For it is abhorrent to Adonai your God. Don't bring something abhorrent into your house, or it will share in the curse that, or you will share, sorry, or you will share in the curse that is on it. Instead, you are to detest it completely, loathe it utterly, for it is set apart for destruction. So that was Deuteronomy 7. I have little notes in here of King Solomon and Ezra 9 and 10. So maybe deep dive some of those. So that was the Torah portion. You have the prophets, which is the reading of Isaiah 49, 14 through 51, verse 3. And then I'm going to read out of the Gospels, Matthew 16, 13 through 20. So my Bible has the word Yeshua. It's otherwise translated as Jesus. When Yeshua came into the territory around Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his Talmudine, which is disciples, who are the people saying the Son of Man is? They said, well, some say Jonathan, Jonathan, the immersers, immerser, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets, but you, he said to them, who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered him, you are Mashiach, Messiah, the Son of the living God. Yeshua answered to him and said, How blessed you are, for no human being revealed this to you. No, it was my Father in heaven. I will also tell you this, you are Kepha, Peter, which means rock. And on this rock I will build my community, and the gates of Sheol will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you prohibit on earth will be prohibited in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth 
will be permitted in heaven. Then he warned his Talmudian disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. I pray that today you take some time to rest and keep digging and study the word and put your faith in God and allow him and the Holy Spirit to speak through you as you study deeper. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you his shalom. Shabbat shalom, sweet friends. Take care and God bless.